got one more in the before lunch break. <laughs> and let's go with the Slav. And I'm going to give him the opportunity to play something that's not that. Fair enough. And we'll go with the Moran if it's allowed. Okay, solid is a solid does. Got it. I'm going to try to make some sort of imbalance. Now we got a stone wall, something a little different. And we need to get a zigzag going to get that bishop active. B6 I didn't like because when taking, I, I didn't want to weaken the C6 square. I want to be able to capture back with the E pawn if he decides to capture. That move makes me feel good. Normally you want to play F3, not G3. And still okay with this. Probably Queen C7 was better. And uh, so many ideas I like here. Let's go with that one and then there. That's surprising. You willingly open the position. Oh, wow. I can't get everything I want again. Hmm. That fixes that. Now we should be quite comfortable. No deficiencies in the pawn structure that I have anyway. And that's a impulse by a monkey see check, monkey do check move. Just because the check is there doesn't mean you need to play it. That's the point of that. I'm not trying to be insulting. But if before this move was played, if you think how much better is my position, the answer is a lot, actually. The knight is completely dominant. The pawn structure is better. I'm threatening knight takes c3. I'm going to go king g8 next to keep his rook out. And this is a winning ending because the knight is just a boss. Uh-huh. And if he trade rooks, the situation gets much worse. Most of his pawns are on the same color as his bishop, and like I said, it gets worse now. And I'm all for providing more pain to you, sir. I understand. And the knight's going to dance the dance until he can dance no more. Flexible. Okay, I first want to start with that. Get pawns on the opposite color of the bishop. Stick pawns on the same color. All right, I'm getting exactly what I wanted. So 
slow, steady improvements with a focus on making sure the pawns won't be targets. Now a passer is looking imminent. Hard to hold everything together. Impossible, in fact. G pawn drops one way or another, or the D pawn drops, like so. We'll put the question to the position. I'd much rather have a knight pawn than a rook pawn. That's why I didn't trade. And. Let's go here to limit some squares. Oh, it's trying to add more time. Um, that falls. I already have one passer, but yeah, it's it, this. This is where I think looking at these types of games. Um, as soon as I was able to play bishop takes c3, I I've, like knew my opponent could resign. And you get comfortable with certain types of endgames, just like you do when you love to see your favorite opening. Certain imbalances, I'm really, really comfortable in. And I felt pretty good about this game overall. Knight takes d2 immediately was more accurate, but... And my opponent, I felt like he really, really jumped the gun with e4. You can definitely play rook a e1 before doing it, and it's a game. But e4 creates unnecessary complications which favor black, because I do find the correct move bishop b4. Now, if I'm allowed to clip here and get a knight on e4, it's, it's basically over. That knight is monstrous and can never be kicked out and we essentially get the same theme and there's nothing he can do to really avoid it at this point and the engine may not indicate it but this is this is ggs and king g8 like i said it makes the situation much worse and i'm able to just improve without any type of risk and that's, that's the ideal. So then you see I start putting all the pawns on the opposite color of the bishop, and I look not just to play g6, but I want g4 as I am making sure that the king is cut out. And knight f2 wins the h pawn, but I was satisfied with my plan. I win a pawn, and as Thanos would say, in this type of position, I am inevitable. Where the G pawn is going to fall and we have a passer. So overall, a pretty clean game from this slob turn stonewall Dutch structure. Hopefully you enjoyed that. The slob players out there who get tired of facing the super solid E3 stuff and I, I quit playing the slob years ago because it seemed like every single game was a sideline, an exchange variation, or this. And I'm like, I wanted a little bit of dynamic play in my life, and I just got bored playing those positions, to be completely honest. All right, till next time.